what's up youtube welcome to my channel this is joe yabzo and this video is on my momo series which is on how to register mobile money yourself how to register a new sim or mobile money without having to walk to the office or meet any agent so this is very simple and it's very quick and i'm gonna do it here so what you do is you go to this website i'll leave a link in the description that's mtn customer online request dot mtn dot com dot gh so when you go there you enter your number and when you enter your number you do you click on proceed they'll send you an otp i've already done this in order to save time so it'll generate this for you can do this on your phone but i prefer my pc because my screen is very big for me to see so when you come here at this place select product you choose mobile money registration form and you click generate form so with the generate form you enter in your details so this place you have the liberty to type in your name and everything right no one will type any wrong details for you so your number date of birth be sure all these things are correct because they are going to verify them before they register their account. For me, I already have more money. I'm just so residential address or landmark on the phone. Sometimes this one it will view one by one. So you have to it's on my PC that you're able to get it at this. All of them appear at once. So residential landmark, an address or an institution that is close by your place. For instance, the name of a school, if you are staying by a school, just put the name of a school, a market, a church, something that is common. I have digital address, so you enter your digital address. My digital address starts with UT. I don't have all those details here, so just to give you an idea of it, you enter your gender here. I don't know why they prefer that you type it. <laughs> so you enter your gender, male, occupation, nationality. If you are not a Ghanaian, you put that you are not a Ghanaian. Specify country if you are not a Ghanaian. So that is what is needed. So these ones are compulsory fields that you need to fill. As you can see, those with the red, listen. So those ones, you must fill them. Whether you have workers permit or not, it's not, these ones are not compulsory. These ones are optional. And ID type, you need to put your ID type there. So have ID type, voters, ID national, ID health insurance. So when you put national ID, you type in your ID number there. You must type it in full. And when you type it in full, you come here and no, this place you must note. Okay, let's come here first. Your ID expiry date, the day the ID card is going to expire. It's on the Ghana card. If it's the voters, I don't know when those ones expire, but on the Ghana card is there on health insurance is there on snap card is there so you should note and type it and here upload relevant files or id card so you take a picture of the id card and you upload so in the form of a picture and you upload just an example i'm just uploading the picture you come here you hold the id card against your chest note if you snap anything any wrong thing they are not going to verify it for you. they are not going to do it for you so you have to hold the ID card towards your chest so that your face and ID card will be snapped together. And you now come here, your next of kin. So the name, this can always be changed. Because if you decide to change your next of kin. So next of kin is not necessarily who is to inherit you, as we always say. The next of kin is the relative who is close by that can always be contacted. Probably if there's a problem with your listen. For instance, if you are having face, you are facing troubles with your sim is not there and you need to access it, you can get your next of kin's contact because that is the second trusted number. So sometimes use someone who has a phone number or someone who can do something. But if you put your child there, who's can, who cannot do any details or cannot have any interaction with problems like this you might be ruining yourself at the end of the day and here whatsapp video call number or skype id so i don't know if they want to verify you and 
they need to call you to confirm whether you are really the one or not so that though 